Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Banished. We're going to be kind of finishing up our initial town that we have been working on over the past couple of episodes. You can see that overall right now we're doing really well. You know, we have a good amount of food. We have a decent amount of population. And uh, really, it's, it's going to be imperative for us over time to hopefully expand and start producing kind of the more specific resources you can see that we are actually hitting kind of the resource cap on certain items and that's by design um you know this is allowing us to kind of stockpile some back-end resources that we're able to kind of expand quickly into other things so let's go ahead and get started um you can see over here how much iron and stone and little rocks are being planted by our uh, stone shack and our t our actual iron ore stack. And that's going to give us kind of our renewable resources here in this area. Basically, very similar to how a um, lumber mill works or the lumberjack works. And, you know, they plant these raw resources and they manage them over time. So there we go. We have kind of our early stage of basic stone and iron so that we can keep building and expanding without having to worry about that too much as we go forward. Now, beyond that, what we have to do is make some clothes for our people, I think. They're not really, uh, you know, going to be staying warm unless we do something like this. And the question is, do we use the classic tailor and simply throw that towards the current industrial side of things that is a method i'm sure and then you can also throw in kind of the living expansion on top and that might look pretty cool hopefully so you know what let's go ahead and do that let's do this and i think I think I think that fits there right I would assume so it wouldn't make sense for it to really fit anywhere else and that staircase will provide a little bit of storage over in that area so we're gonna be using some of our stone some of our lumber that we do have left over lumber is gonna be constantly being used to uh, refine down in the sawmill and also to make our tools uh, the furnace fuel, firewood. So our lumber supply is actually kind of a little on the light side right now, but hopefully as our lumberjacks mature and start cutting down these older trees and replanting and we can kind of just clear cut in waves, we'll be okay going forward. So there we go. We got the tailor shop and the house for the tailor all in one, which is great. Now the tailor, the question is, do we oh what's the small town tailor oh yeah i think we looked at this one last episode clothes store okay it's like a different type uh weaver makes linen cloth and silk out of flax cotton silkworm cocoons they can also fashion rugs okay uh ropery hemp and things we don't really have any of that oh a bedding maker wow a lot of little resources and things tannery uh, do we have any any leather? I think we probably do, if you think about it, over here. I'm assuming this is getting us leather. Yes, it is. And maybe with a tannery, we can use that to create more advanced kind of clothing materials. So we'll kind of put that near here. Just out back. Or maybe over this way let's see where can we put the tannery i think i think back here will work just fine and then we can fill in some of the other areas with just your normal small housing units just to increase the population round that out we might have to do another one of these smaller little extensions one for lumber and of course for gatherers huts gathering huts are in my opinion the best source of food so that'll get constructed. We'll pop two people into builders just to speed up the process. 
Linen weaver. Make linen cloth. Ooh, that's kind of handy. We could throw that out back as well. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what the tailor can make. And then go from there, deciding on their total um, production chain, I think. We can fit an old-style kind of home over here. I think that would look pretty nice. Uh, can't really fit... Well, we could fit a small town house behind the tailor shop, but I don't think that's something I really want to do. Could fit one right there, though. I think that's good. And what I want to do at this point, how's our storage barns doing? Because you never know if you have to expand these for any reason. I'm fine with that one only really having one because these guys kind of congregate just to this one source and then the extra kind of leaks over into this barn. I think that's okay. Now, is the gatherer getting us flax? It is. And if that's the case, we could technically get the little weaver's shed. Right? It, it gets a workplace for tailor making linen clothes. Where is... Let's see. Out of flax, cotton, and other material. Tell you what. Let's destroy this little wagon that we placed here as a decorative structure. And we'll, we'll kind of cap off this road with the weaver's. And that'll kind of keep the town within this area. And we'll, I guess, make a small town center kind of back here. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Well, um, a hospital is also a problem. No, we have the herbalist. We don't really need the hospital right now. Uh, what other civic buildings are there? These are really just town halls. Immigration office. Let's let's do times five speed. I think that would work out better for us. Courthouse. No. Mini town hall. No. Town arrival. Gazebo. I mean, you could do a gazebo. It would look pretty quaint and nice. No real reason for it, though, if you think about it. It doesn't really fit the rest of the theme of the town. Normad well, roadless well. We could probably do for a well though. We don't, we don't have anything in case a fire breaks out, and uh, that has me a little concerned. Probably you guys too. So let's let's build a well. We're gonna we're gonna need one of those because if the disaster strikes. Um, you know, this isn't a seaside village. We, we could be in some trouble if fire starts to spread throughout the area. Going back to two times speed. All right, so the tailor occupancy is working. And let's see, clothes. Yeah, we can, we can make it out of leather for now. That'd be fun. Cured leather is, what, one leather, one water, and three salt. And that really is something that we can do if you think about it. We don't have any water. So, well, what produces water? Let's, let's open that up. So, CC. So, find water. Water, 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 water. It's probably going to be in the W's, which is always at the bottom here. Water. Water tower. Okay, it's a vendor and it's food. Let's see. What's this? Medieval water tower. So this does produce water. Is there variants? No? Okay, good. We have a small one. That's And it looks pretty industrial too. In fact, it might fit well back here. Kind of behind the blacksmith. In this industrial zone. So we'll just plop it there. That's going to take some of our lumber. But, you know, we've been producing a decent amount of it. We're up to 204. Um, our base log count is pretty low, though. So what I'm going to do is clear-cut 
some trees. I'm just going to remove a nice large swath of it around uh, our current forester lodge. And that's going to hopefully provide a decent amount. So we'll have water. Now, where do you get salt? Now, I know, I know salt comes from tears of people raging at games, but let's see if... Okay, here's salt. Salt boiler. Dry goods. Let's see. Salt boiler. Where is transparent food refining? Preservist. Sugar house. Sugar. Salting house. Cures a variety of fish. Okay. Saltery. Maybe for create some salt meats. No, we're, we're getting there. We're getting close. Salt broiler. Salt boiler. Mm. Looking for their symbol. What's that? Metalsmith smelting house. Firewood yard. Oh, that's a... That's some nice variants for firewood when we need to... Upgrade that. Luxury production? Is it in here? Kitchen, pub. No. Shore house. Salt boiler. Iron ore shack. Salt works. Uh, manufacturing salt from seawater using a wind pump in a large... Okay. So this actually needs to be placed along the water's edge, it looks like. Is there, is there a different variant? Because this is the only real... What's this up here? Profession? Okay, so that's just the name of the guy who actually works there. So it's actually the salt work. Yeah, no. Okay, we're not, we're not going to get that anytime soon. So let's just uh, turn this place off for now. We'll go ahead and hire you. You'll maintain about 50 coats for us. And I think that's reasonable. You know. Let's check to see. Blacksmith lives up there currently. Oh, wow. There's upgrades for the wooden houses, guys. So you can do a country house, which... Uh, stone house, which is normal. The country house... A nice country house and a fancy country house. Don't really know the difference between these two. The images look the same, except for this one looks like they have little flower beds on the windows. Something to kind of take note of. But that's about it. Five students currently in the town. Okay, now you'll see here... Our food supply is actually starting to dwindle. We were hovering about 4,000. Now we're hovering around 2,200. And that's not going to be good in the long run. We're going to close down that. And we're going to close down this. Just so those question marks aren't really going to show any warning symbols. So what I want to do is I think to the south we'll make another little attachment to the village for more wood, of course. Uh, more gathering more hunting because this is not a seaside town this is more of a, a wilderness kind of thing you know maybe i can set it up here so we don't have just these roads going to all straight sides kind of aligned oh, oh i think i want a more asymmetric thing so let's just do a dirt path up this direction like so and then we will remove resources just in this big grid here. So that we can see, you know, how, how we're doing. We need to lay out these little roads and things. Um, roads are important. They do increase how quickly your people move in between each area. It's, it's a good thing to kind of plan for that. And then from here, we can kind of springboard into the next town, hopefully. And the next town... Um, it's going to be a little different. I, I want it along. It's, it's going to be a little bit more of a fishing oriented town. And they will also 
hopefully have a trader's dock. Now, we're going to need a trader to produce some good food, but I wonder if I can get a trader on land. Small traders. A sea trader. So I technically don't have to build a river town. Ah, wait. Nope, nope, okay. Uh, general trader? Nope, nope, nope. Dry goods supplier. Food supplier. Mini trading post. Charter company. Smuggler's dock. I think a native trader. What does this do? Trade items with the native population. I uh, don't really know what that means. But all these other trading posts kind of are supposed to be built on the water. Which is not ideal. Yeah, that barn's still doing fine for us. Um, I could just make another small one. Uh, no. It's like a mini storage area back here. What's this? Storage shed? Well, that's a nice little building as well. Barn storage. That's more for food when we get into... We could do cellars. For additional storage, you know? I think these should be... Yeah, these would be like placed along buildings more so than anything. Back as good decoration as well. Specialized warehouses. These kind of take over the place of the stockpiles, but let's just let's just do that really small one. Where was it? I think that was this. Yeah, so just a little mini storage area. I think right there. That'll work out. And it's still close to the other barn. That's fine. So we can't do trading until we actually have a water town, it looks like. Tannery. Though I am curious, that native trader may work. I've never used it before. I don't know exactly what it does. But we do have the wood requirements for it. And it might be a decent kind of entry point kind of the last kind of building out this direction and then if we kind of just do a fence we can close off the rest of the town i think so let's go into the decorative items at this point there we go fences All right this is the right one i think so So let's get the corner first. It's always kind of the dictating piece. Okay, so we can seal off that direction. And we can go this way. And let's get that other corner because I want to kind of get that flush to that building here. Okay, so it's going to be a three spot. Yep. Three and three. So there we go. And that's going to create a nice edge for this side. Uh, we can do a little bit of it back here and a little bit of it back here. That way, um, you know, it kind of locks in the scale of the town, hopefully. It will prevent me from just expanding this town to infinity. This one, you know, is our starting town. It's supposed to remain kind of small. Wow, that menu takes up so much of the screen space. Let's go to camera position number one. You can save camera positions, I think up to four or so. Five. And what that'll do is, like, it's like Z, X, C, kind of along your space bar there. And... I'm going to be using that to kind of save town locations. So this is town number one. I kind of want this whole town to fit within this view here. And no bigger than that. And town number two will be pretty close by. We might use this peninsula. And I'll bind that to a different key so that we kind of zip over there. 
And that way, I, you know, there's no way to set up regions or zone names. And so using that camera tool might be able to allow us to identify which town and especially which order they were built. So this is town number one. Town number one. And we could do for one or two more homes as well. All right, let's 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 do times 10 speed. You can see this place really filling in with rocks and stuff. Some trees as well, because we do have one lumberjack over here. And the lumberjack area is a bit bigger than the stone and iron area. And over time, they'll kind of compete with space. And hopefully, this area won't look quite as big barren you know there'll be trees mixed in with stones and it'll look a little bit more natural it'll look a little bit probably like this you know how you have dense foliage surrounded but you know surrounding the raw resource that you're kind of waiting for i hope i don't know first time kind of using this thing these do feel a little overpowered but i think currently it's okay they're not really harvesting right now um they're kind of waiting for this stuff to mature i'm sure and then they'll harvest kind of the older stuff within their zone. Wow, we, we really clear cut this area out, didn't we? That's uh, pretty impressive. Our food's still sitting at about 2,000. And now we can go ahead, build the final little town extension uh, gathering area. So food first, of course. Now, do we want just the small gatherer's hut? Oh, wow. That gatherer has a... Gatherer huts have large ranges to them. Or we can make this into a kind of bees wax area and hunting area. I think that would be more interesting. Because this still provides food. Is there a different version? Medieval apiary? That's, that's a little bit more s small town. Bee shelter, even smaller. And there's some variants to it. A different version of a bee shelter. I do like these a lot. And if you put them back to back, you could probably get some cool little layouts for them. So for example, what we're gonna do, I think, is something like this. We're gonna put that down. And then we are going to flank the building with two more shelters. And you can expand that around there. We'll carry the road forward. Let's do times two speed. Uh, we'll also, of course, get some type of hunting cabin built here. You know, let's let's try the house attached version. Old hunter residence. Oh, is that how that works? So you have a hunting cabin, right? And combined, it turns into this. And so this is actually providing housing for that same building with the same footprint. I think that's, see, this is why I love this mod, you know. Um, they realize that this building is too big and doesn't provide housing. And so you split the building in half. One's the hunting lodge and one's the house for the hunting lodge. Oh, I just love what they do to this mod. And I don't think they'll be competing much for space. Uh, this one's a little bit bigger, but that's fine. We also are going to need the forester's hut. And I want the proper foresters. Now, we're already using this variant, I think. Nope. Okay. So we can use this one. I think that's fine. And we can line it up kind of central to the main row coming in here. Get that to the left and the right. Great. 
We're gonna need some homes, of course. We need a few more builders just to kind of speed up this overall building process. Another thing coming. We ha we're up to nine. Both. What are you all doing? Sitting idle? I'm okay with it. Yeah, look at this. All this stone and stuff. Can't wait till this kind of fills in a little bit better. That large of a clearing is bothering me. Just a, just a hair and same with here. But we did just clear cut that for resource, mainly. Other than that, you know, we can detail uh, this fence being constructed still. Most of our builders over here currently. I do like that water tower. That makes it look a little bit more industrial as well. Food, holding steady. That's good. Happiness, good. Health, good. Temperature, perfect. Um, I wouldn't probably be a little too easy for the temperature, but... You know, if this is going to be a long series and we want to build some cooler looking towns, then um, it's just going to help help us along. I, I did pick the harder start, though, but you can see it's still... Banish is still a pretty easy, straightforward game. You can succeed just by simply doing this pattern over and over and over and over around, and there you go. You've technically placed every building, but I don't want to do that. I want to... I mean, I maybe want to have a couple villages similar to this, but definitely want to have like a city downtown area with a cathedral and things. Let's do times five speed. And then at this point, we can think about the housing. We can go wooden housing. Or we can go about more of these farm homes. They do look nice, but they have a large footprint to them. Same with... Not really those. What requires just... I mean, I could go with these medieval stories. And actually build like a proper two-story residence out here. Uh, more, eh. Don't want any, want any of these row homes. It's a village housing. Okay. What's this one? Oh, I like these. These are nice. They're very asymmetric. So let's just stick that one there. This one will kind of go at the entryway, I think. Just like that. And this one. Ooh, I like that shape. That's a good shape as well. Let's see, can we, we could get these right beside each other and they'll kind of work together, almost like a row home, but a little bit more old school looking. What? What's, what's the problem? Reserve stone? I'm fine with that. We'll do that. And I think that should cover the food and things. So let us increase that by two, down by one in that spot. I always found the hunter's cabin and the like the the forester's lodge and things do always do better in like twos. Now this one Going with two there. One and one, right? That ain't bad. Herb limit. So this is getting herb? Why? Why is this getting herb? Let's, let's just increase our herb storage to like 200 or something. Okay, now we just need uh, the barn out here. I think this small one fits kind of the best, usually. We'll do something like that. 
So these guys should be making honey. Which is great. Still hitting... What's up the food limit to 10,000? Our food is actually drastically going down. We have a lot of people kind of in the town at this point. It has me a little worried. Uh, herb limit 500. Little crazy that these things affect the herbalist. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. But well, there we go. They're they're producing stuff at this point. How uh how much they'll produce, I don't know. I mean, only one person really works in this little spot here. But let's let's just check pathing. Make sure there's enough housing, at least, for our new area. So, let's see. Work. Yeah, see, there, there needs to be maybe one more house. Or a few more housing units. Because we're starting to uh, sap some people. Well, we got one there. I need some more stone, though. Let's see. Collect stone and iron. There we go. Collect all that. As our laborers jump into action. Clearing out all the stuff we've been growing over here. Leaving the trees. Kind of fill in the rest of the area. Let's see. Yeah. So this is... This is looking really nice. I can't wait till that closes back up, though. That, yeah. That's gonna be better once that does. So, there we go. So this is gonna get built now. It might provide the housing we need. I'm not sure. It looked like we were losing about three people, so we might need a small house nonetheless. Yeah, something like that. That'll just fill in the area. Don't know about decoration. Died of old age. We actually lost someone from old age at this point. So that's technically, I think, our first death of the whole series, guys. So we're doing really well. Food is recovering. I think uh, winter had something to do with it. And it's spring now. All this forest is coming back. Uh, how about you guys? What are you guys doing? You're, you're you're bringing in some honey. Royal jelly. Ooh. That's interesting. I wonder what I can use that for. If that's a refined resource. Let's see. Food refining. Preservist. Jams. Pickles. Okay. Bakery. Jam shop. Market barbecue. Oh. That would be good for... Kind of a town center. Ketchup ink. Okay. Maybe you want some Heinz. Oil press. Creamery. Dairy. Medieval windmill. That looks pretty good. What's this one? Another variant. I'm glad there's some more variants of windmills. I know my last playthrough, there was only, like, really a couple. Watermill. Salting house. Curious fish. We already went over that. Am I? Yes, I am overrunning this episode like I have been the past two. So, I think that's going to be us for today's episode of Banished. If you guys enjoy the series, feel free to leave a like. Leave a comment down below on how you think our town is going. And if you have any tips, suggestions on uh, expanding and maintaining our population, let me know that as well. Go ahead and check out my other videos for more creative content such as this. And I will see you guys in the next episode.